Unfortunately, Help Desk can't make all your agents respond in time, but it can certainly help them track their time and escalate unsolved tickets to their managers. You can configure the rules for abiding by the service level agreement for your clients. This might just help you make sure your customers don't get too nervous about their requests. Navigate to Settings, and then to SLA Policies. You will see a list with a single predefined SLA policy. By default, it's deactivated. After you configure the policy settings, you can activate it. Also, you can add other policies. Let's create one of those. First, we'll define a meaningful name for it. Let's keep track of our agent's performance on the high-priority tickets. Like a trigger, each SLA policy has a condition. Helpdesk will monitor the non-resolved tickets that have been modified during the last 30 days. For each ticket, Helpdesk will go through the list of the SLA policies. The first SLA policy that satisfies the condition on the ticket is then applied to the ticket. Please see our instruction or video on the help desk triggers to learn more about the condition syntax. Please note that all other SLA policies will be ignored. This means that a single ticket can have a single SLA policy applied. Keep that in mind when putting the list of your policies together. Each ticket by default can have only one of those. After a policy is applied, Help Desk starts tracking time metrics for the ticket. You can track each of the following. First reply time tracks the period between the initial reply on the ticket and the first reply by the agent. This stands for your agent's first reply to the customer's message. Next reply time track time between the last reply from the customer and the next reply by the assignee. Resolution time is the time for the ticket to get the solve status. Note that only the working hours of your support service are calculated for each metric. Help Desk gets your business hours from regional settings on the SharePoint site. You can change them by navigating to the regional settings on your site. Note that each metric is always paused when the ticket has a pending status. Sometimes your client may reply with a message that doesn't require a reply. Like, thank you, I'll try your solution and we'll let you know tomorrow. In this case, an agent can switch the ticket to pending to avoid failing the SLA. Each metric has a list of actions that are performed if the metric is failed. You can send an email notification to the agent, set a different status for the ticket or reassign it to another agent.